in fact, uh, it has triggered a number of legislative amendments. Uh, uh, the Council of Europe works in 46 member states and the project was based in 10 focus countries and we had three pilot countries out of the three pilot countries that were Ukraine, Armenia and Azerbaijan. Two have ratified uh, the Lanzarote Convention just during or after the project, which, was, uh, which is a key step in aligning their national legislations with international standards and Ukraine have launched has launched uh, uh, thorough legal amendments into their legislation on child protection issues and therefore including also online child sexual exploitation and abuse. So I think one thing that we have seen very clearly was that each country has some kind of uh, uh, method or means or tools uh, to tackle online child sexual exploitation and abuse. However, uh, this remains very fragmented and uh, even within a country it is fragmented and there is no collaboration or cooperation between the agencies uh, to tackle OXIA uh, and definitely there is very big lack of collaboration in tackling uh, uh, online child sexual abuse between uh, among the countries and therefore uh, we have understood that uh, uh, creating international and regional um, um, means and tools is uh, a key to progress in the future. I think when we started the project, uh, the partners were uh, quite um, had a big disbelief into the success of this project and we have seen them grow from, we have seen this disbelief grow into something much bigger and a much stronger commitment and motivation and that was surprising because we work in countries that uh, traditionally don't have uh, many technological means uh, to tackle cyber crime in general and then they learned and they um, uh, saw in other countries how they do it and adopted some of the practices and became really committed and motivated. This motivation was quite uh, surprising.